Five meaningful minutes. We are about to welcome Yom Yerushalayim. Amazing, beautiful Chag celebrating the reunification of Yerushalayim in 1967, a return of Jewish sovereignty to the old city, to our home, a place where we could gather, and the Kotel has become a place of tears, of joy, of sadness, of togetherness, of family. And thinking about Yerushalayim, and its place in the heart of the Jewish people, there is a magnificent Mishnah in Pirkei Avot in the fifth chapter. And the Mishnah talks about Asara Nisim Nasu Lavotene Baveta Mikdash, ten miracles that happened to our forefathers in the Temple. And of those ten miracles, most of which are things that happened in the Beit Mikdash, that Hashem brought down miracles, but two of them seem to relate very much to people and how we relate to one another. And one of the two miracles is that when the people stood in the Beit HaMikdash, omdim tzfufim, we were packed together, let's say for tefillah, for the avodah. But umishtachavim rivachim. But when we bowed down, there was plenty of room. It's like, imagine you're back to back to back to somebody and all of a sudden it's time to bow down. It would be very uncomfortable. But in this case, you bow down and all of a sudden it felt like there's, there's just so much room, like the walls widened. Like we discussed about the Aron that, that didn't fit in the Kodesh Kedashim, but somehow the poles and everything, there was just the walls of the Beit HaMikdash made space. The walls of the place made space. We talk about this in our homes, that when it's packed and there's lots of people and we're crowded for a meal and we say when there's love in the room, there's room at the table, there's room at the table, right? Room in the heart, room at the table, that's what I'm looking for, right? So this is what it was like. If we could make space in our hearts, then there was plenty of space for all the people. And the second piece builds on this. And, and the Mishnah says, V'lo amar adam lachavero. And a person did not say to his neighbor, to his friend, Tsar li hamakom she'alim b'yushalayim. Oi! It's, there's no space for me to stay overnight in Yerushalayim, right? Because when people would come from all around to visit Yerushalayim for the Regalim or other times, people somehow always opened their homes. There was never insufficient place for us to be in Yerushalayim. And you could say that these are the ten miracles, but it's not really a miracle that someone says, yeah, sure, you can stay over. Or, yeah, sure, bow down, I, I got room. The miracle is that we make space for each other, that we overcome not, not nature, but human nature, as my dear friend Rabbi Adam Shire says. We overcome a different kind of nature when we recognize that we can have room in the heart for others and still have our own space. And something about Yerushalayim teaches us this lesson. Something about recognizing that if I can build the space, God's presence will dwell. And so too, if I can build the space, I can build the space for each other to dwell. And right now, we're learning a lesson about what it means to have our own space. And it's very nice to have our own space. But boy, are we going to be happy when we can share our space with each other. And we will feel this miracle come to life in new ways when we can come back together and be in each other's homes and be glad to share our tables and be glad to share our space and know that anybody can have a place, what an honor it will be when that time arrives. And that is the blessing and the teaching of Yom Yerushalayim, Jerusalem Day, wishing everyone a Chag Sameach.